if we're not careful, we could miss something here. The crowd was following Jesus, listening to his teaching. They obviously knew who Jesus was because uh, they, they're not just gonna get around a random dude, right? So they're, they're around Jesus and they're listening to his teaching. They're following him. And when the blind man, when Bartimaeus asked, what is happening? They told him, Jesus, the Nazarene is passing by. But Bartimaeus says something different here. So he began shouting, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. This is important family because this blind man had a better idea of who Jesus was than the people who were following did. This blind man who was sitting on the side of the road begging for money knew that Jesus was the Messiah. Meanwhile, the people just knew him as Jesus the Nazarene. See, I think family, sometimes we can be the people following Jesus and not blind Bartimaeus. I think there's times in our lives that we know who Jesus is, but we don't actually know what Jesus has done for us. We have an idea of good teaching, and what the Bible says, but we don't truly know Jesus, the Messiah, Jesus, son of David. See, this is important because this is the first time in all of Luke's gospel that this phrase is used, Jesus, son of David. And it came from a blind man sitting on the side of the road begging for money. If you don't know the man of Jesus Christ himself, this is where you get yourself in trouble and you begin to listen to things and begin deconstructing or you begin doing things and adding things that sound pleasant to the ear because you don't actually know what God has done for you. You just know that he's a good teacher, that, he, that he's a good rabbi, that he's Jesus the Nazarene. You don't know him as Jesus, son of David. And I'm here to tell you tonight, if you will have an encounter with Jesus, son of David, the Messiah, the true king, your life will never be the same. It'll never be the same. But too often, family, we're the people that are following Jesus. We know him as Jesus the Nazarene, not Jesus the Messiah.